All righty, everybody. Welcome back to the wonderful month of November and to our handy, capable YouTube service. We got a lot to cover today, so let's get started right away. One of the things we can be doing every week through the month of November, we're going back and going to review the Thanksgiving worship service we did for the church here at St. Paul United Methodist Church in Largo, and it's going to be four sections. We're going to watch the first section of it. You're going to see some of the announcements that were made, some of the prayers that were given, some of our singing. So sit back, rest, and relax. Here we go. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Handy Capable Thanksgiving Worship Service. As you can tell, we're really excited about being here tonight. And we've done this numerous times, and I know we're going to have a fabulous time. It's going to give those of you who maybe have never had the opportunity to witness what the Handicapable Ministry is about, you're going to see firsthand what we are involved about, how we love the Lord, and what some of our plans are to go forward with the future. I'm going to invite Mr. Terry Albright to come up at this time. Terry has been with us. He's from uh, Dry Group Home. Big hand for Terry. And Terry's going to lead us in the singing of the Handy Capable song. Y'all know that? I'm handy and capable. I'm handy and capable. I'm handy and capable. I am a child of God. I'm caring and caring. I'm caring and caring. I'm handy and capable. I am a child of God. With the same Paul handy capable. With the same Paul handy capable. With the same Paul handy capable. And Jesus is our Lord. Great job. Big hand for Terry. Woo. Terry, Terry, Terry. All right, now I'm going to invite Donnie. Sick to come up, Donnie, with his mother Vicky, and Donnie's going to do the welcome for us. I want to welcome everyone to the St. Paul's Handicapable Ministries Thanksgiving program. We hope you enjoy the program. Thank you, Donnie. Good job. You may notice the pictures are back on the screen back there. Sean Powers, who leads our praise man here at St. Paul, actually came and Donnie helped him do the music for us two or three times when our lovely pianist, Joni Carter, who's playing tonight, big hand for Joni, was not out of town. Laura, I'm going to invite Laura and the mother Kathy to come up, and she's going to do the opening prayer for us. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. Be with each of us as we lift praises and thanks to thee this evening. We love you, Lord, and glorify thy name. Amen. Amen. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. One of the things that we love to do with the Handy Capels, we love to sing. And uh, we've got so many gifted people, so many talented people, and at this time, we ask Crystal to come up. Her favorite song is this banner over me is love, and she's going to sign this song as we sing it. Everybody ready? The Lord is mine, and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine, and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine, and I am his. His banner over me, his love. His banner over me, his love. He 
brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Now Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Now Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Now Jesus is the rock of my salvation his banner over me is love his banner over me is love all righty good deal good deal all right we'll invite scott breeland to come up scott's been with us for those of you who remember about three years ago, Scott actually sang, what did you sing, Scott? How, how great thou how art. How great thou art. And he sang it at the 11 o'clock worship service, and it was telecast to all parts of the world. Come and read us and lead us in our scripture lesson here. Then said he also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Thank you, Scott. Beautiful, beautiful message. And that's kind of been our theme scripture for years, ever since Dr. Bill Fritz started this ministry, because so often God's special people, as we love to call them, sometimes in the past they have been left out. But you can be reassured here at St. Paul United Methodist Church, no one with the handicapped ministry ever gets left out. We are a huge handicapable family. Now, one of the things that we love to do is uh, it's something that we've been able to do since we've moved over here to the CLEC. You can take advantage of this wonderful audio and visual equipment that we have here. Is we started Handycam. And if our different functions that we can do, you can get a pretty good idea of some of the different things that we do. We have an opportunity to get some feedback from different people with some of the comments that they have about something that may be going on. So we've got about 14 Handycams, and they love to see these, the video clips. And so I'm going to get my lovely wife, Renee, to help and to see what Grovey Dalzell has to say. <laughs> okay, I'm with Grovey from Dryer. Grovey, what do you think about the Bucks game coming up on Sunday? Well, I think it's going to be a good game because uh, I... But we don't know who's going to win, but it's going to be a close game, I think. It's going to be a close game? You think close the Bucks game. will win like 21 to 20? Something like that, or a little less than that, too. A little less two. than that? Two. But the temperature is going to be 68 degrees. 68 uh, degrees, any chance of rain? No, no rain. Beautiful Good. Beautiful sunshine Good. and uh, humidity is low. Humidity is low. There you have it, right from the mouth of Grovey Dalzell, the sports announcer for the Handicapable Ministry. All right. I hope that you enjoyed that. We got three more coming, so be sure and tune in next week as well. Also, we want to remember Gail. Gail was one of our, and still is one of our members, has been so faithful in being a part of us. And we did this riddle and this tune that she wants us to always remind ourselves each week that we have Handicapable that God and Jesus love us. Every second of every minute, every minute of every hour, every hour of every day, every day of every week, every week of every month, every month of every year, 
He loves us throughout eternity, and I pray I've made myself quite clear. All right, we got a premier service this night. We're going to be talking about Onyx and Bandit and staying current and on course. What in the world could they be talking about? Here we go. Find out. Let's go. The boys like to hear some of my stories of old, so today I am sharing one of those stories with you. Those of you who know me and have attended our handicapable in-person gatherings for years are aware of my love for flying. I received my private pilot's license in December of 1967. At the time, it was one of my milestones in my young life. During the next 19 years, I earned my twin engine rating, an IFR license, and accumulated over 2,200 hours of flight time. Those years of flying experience taught me a great deal about life. One, to stay current and proficient in my flying skills, I needed to fly frequently, not just 10 to 15 hours a year. Many years, I would average 100 hours or better. The most frequently flown years in 1982 and 1983, I averaged over 300 hours a year. To become more proficient for number two, I took additional courses and earned my license to fly a twin engine plane and to fly IFR, instrument flight rules. Number three, to stay safe on cross country trips, I filed an IFR flight plan. This ensured I would always stay in contact with FAA officials when on the ground taxiing to a runway for takeoff, when departing the airport, when flying cross country for hundreds of miles, when approaching an airport for landing, and when I would taxi to the fixed based operation for fuel and plane tie downs. These same rules should apply for each of us in our daily walk with our Lord and Savior. To stay current and proficient in our daily journey through life, we need to follow Jesus, read, believe, and act on His words in the Bible, and maintain constant communication with God through prayer. Just as I encountered conflict during my flying years of piloting my plane, today I find comfort in my daily journey of life by following Jesus, whether it be when I encounter storms of life or encourage others by touching their hearts and lives in a positive manner. I definitely feel the peace of God, knowing He is with me always, even until the end of the age. I thank God and Jesus for their promises of salvation here on earth and in heaven above. To God be the glory. Now this week, we've got the Handicapable Ministry story about partnering with others in the community. I think you'll enjoy this, and that's one of the things that we said as a goal. We want to go out into the community, and this is evidence right here of what we've done in the past. Following the lead of Bill in seeking other ways to collaborate with others in the special needs community, we began our search for other organizations to partner and build new relations. These searches led us to Healthy Community Tampa Bay, a fire and other ADTs are better known as adult day training organizations and the Family Care Council. Healthy Community, headquartered in Tampa, is a part of Special Olympics Florida. Since our group was already engaged in Special Olympics, it was unnatural for us to partner with Healthy Community, which specialized in providing free health screenings for the special needs community. It was a perfect fit because our ministry with this large membership and meeting space at the church, opened numerous opportunities for healthy community to share its services with its targeted market. On several occasions, health community came to our facilities to do screenings for teeth, feet, hearing, and flexibility. We were also asked by healthy community for our group to participate in a trial study called Fit Five. We were all in 
for all they had to offer. 75 students participated in Fifth Five. A fire under the leadership of Nancy Simmons is a wonderful partner. Nancy has had over 30 years of experience of being an advocate for those in the special needs community. A fire has given thousands of dollars for scholarships to assist special need families and members in their never ending quest to improve the quality of their lives. Handy Capable has partnered with Nancy and her group by providing an annual large social event at our church during which members of other adult day training organizations would gather for fellowship, scrumptious pizza, and lots of dancing. The events we sponsored had attendance between 250 and 325 people. We have also partnered with Family Care Council, whose local chapter is headed by Paula James, who has been actively involved in numerous causes and events pertaining to the special needs community locally and statewide. Family Care Council is an organization that is a part of the state agency for persons with disabilities. Handy Capable has sponsored and housed a couple of Family Care Council's fun events. These events allow special needs families the opportunity to meet providers and agencies who serve families in Pinellas and Pasco counties. Invitations were sent out to over 1,100 people. What joy for Handy Capable to provide these fellowship opportunities for the special needs community in Pinellas County and Pasco County, Florida. All right, next week we'll be looking at chapter 28 where we were so blessed and have been blessed and continue to be blessed by HUG, how they came about to be a part of our ministry. We'll review that next week. All right, let's meet our handy capable in the spotlight tonight. It's going to be Melissa and her mother, Linda. One of the things that they uh, love about uh, the Handy Capable Ministry when we were meeting here in person, they love craft night. They can make some beautiful crafts. They love the talent show and be a part of the karaoke. Also, Melissa was a graduate of high school, and uh, she has also acted in local theater plays. She's quite a thespian. Also, we want to be aware that she also has been attending St. Pete College. This is the time where we go to prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we gather again this evening. We're thankful for the new month. We're thankful for all that you do to bless us in our wonderful ministry here called Handy Capable. Continue to pour your blessings on Melissa and her mother, Linda. We're thankful for their faithfulness in serving you here and thankful for all we've been able to accomplish in our 24 years of being a part of St. Paul United Methodist Church. Be with us now as we continue on with our service. For we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, you know, we've been looking at promises of Jesus. This is one of the promises from John 14, verse 3. He said, and this just said, If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that where I am, you will be also. I love that promise because we know one day we'll have that opportunity to be physically right there in spirit with Jesus in heaven. Now, also, we have a promise that we want to make to Jesus. One of his commandments was to go out and make disciples in all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all the commands I have given you, and I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. We want to continue to stay on that path. Where are we on our journey of life? Hopefully we're all like we're, you can see right there on the screen, we're under the cross of Jesus. Sometimes we go into our dark moments. When we go into those dark moments, we need to keep our sight on Jesus and on the lit cross that's right there. He will help us during those times of journey when we're not sure what we should be doing or we're down in spirit. Those to remember those things. Jesus is the light of the world. And you can see right there evidence of how Melissa has been one of those shining lights in our handicapable ministry. And Jesus was also an inspiration to us. And Melissa and her mother, Linda, have been as well. All right, now what do we need to do to become better followers of Jesus? We need to follow Jesus. We need to read, believe, and act on his word. And then we need to pray for strength and guidance. If we do all those things, it's going to help us stay on that path of righteousness. And don't forget, if we fall off the path of righteousness, we know we can call upon Jesus and he will help us get back on that narrow path. 
All righty, don't forget, next week we've got clip number two that we're looking at from our Handicapable Worship Service back in 2018. Also, we'll be looking at chapter 28. We are so blessed that Hug found us, and the boys will be having an encore presentation, staying current and on course. All of you stay safe out there. We love you with the love of the Lord, and we'll see you next week. God bless you all.